For this week's Channel 10 report, we'll waste no time in getting to last night's Brattleboro Select Board meeting, with an array of hot topics making the roster, including the proposed Nelson Withington skating rink upgrades. As yesterday afternoon, the board interviewed candidates for the rink's committee before convening an early executive session. Good evening, this is Tim Johnson, the Brattleboro Select Board uh, just reconvening behind me. They interviewed candidates for the Living Memorial Park Ice Rink committee. And while a new compressor for the lucrative Parks and Rec enterprise could run as high as 800 grand, the $14 million price tag on the town's police and fire facility upgrade project has set it apart as the issue of choice in local politics, with the select board announcing at last night's meeting that it would award DEW Construction the bid. DEW had technology, resources, and assets to help us provide communication tools to the folks in, in town that were significantly better than the other firms that we interviewed. But with seven other towns to consider in BCTV's service territory, we'll move on and head north to Jamaica where last week's meeting made headlines after a resident was accused of accosting a town employee at their recycling facility and berating them over rising costs in the program, prompting the select board debate as to the town's authority to revoke the recycling privileges of their residents. How should we handle uh, when someone comes up and uses abusive language? Is the access to the transfer station a privilege or a right of citizenship in Jamaica? From there, we'll move on to New Fane, where the town's grout pond and the conditions of the aging dam responsible for holding back the waters of the 20-acre area are under state review, with the municipality likely facing half the cost of the state's assessed repair needs and the pond's private property owner responsible for the other half, a fact that was met with full support at last week's regularly scheduled meeting. Clearly something needs to be done, and we're, we're as concerned about it as you are and in terms of uh, integrity of the dam and the road, and we want to just um, help in any way we can and work things out. And as always, all these meetings are available in their entirety at brattlerotv.org, where you can get the full picture streaming it yourself or find out when to watch them on BCTV's Comcast Channel 10. And be sure to join us next Wednesday for another edition of the Channel 10 Report. <laughs>